Listen to this. One in four dogs will develop cancer in their lifetime, and almost 50% of dogs over the age of 10 will get it. In fact, cancer is the leading cause of death in dogs over the age of two. I did not know this. Crazy. Oh, and I you know it too well. Way too well. I know this way too well. And it's often discovered in late stages when, when treatment is difficult. And families of these pets are urgently looking for, you know, new and better options, not only to prolong their companion's life, but to also give them improved quality of life. Absolutely. And that's what we want. Today, we have good news on that front. Here to tell us more is veterinarian Dr. Brooke Fowler and Tammy Wayhouse, CEO of Elias Animal Health. Thank you both for so much for being here today. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Absolutely. So let's talk about this. I mean, we're both dog lovers. He just go ahead, Tammy. Uh, yeah, I lost my little guy uh, about three months ago. Cancer riddled throughout his body. Yeah. And the statistics are just, I'm so sorry. Uh, and, and they're so sobering. Doctor. Abysmal, abysmal. So six million dogs will be diagnosed with cancer every year. And the tumor we're specifically studying is bone cancer or osteosarcoma. It makes up 85% wow. of skeletal tumors in dogs. The standard of care at this point is amputation and then additional chemotherapy. In the average dog lives nine to 12 months. 10% uh, of dogs will go on and have a longer term remission. It's, it's sad, mm. it's pathetic. I mean, you mentioned the standard of care, but doctor, I mean, well, Elias has been working on an option, right? Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we have an exciting opportunity to bring a new immunotherapy to market as an alternative to traditional chemotherapy for the treatment of bone cancer in dogs. And it has the potential to be useful against other cancers as well. It's built on 50 years of scientific research. We've done rigorous clinical trials to evaluate safety and efficacy in dogs. And we're looking forward to the advancement of this technology. Can we talk more about these clinical trials? Because they're really important. I mean, they really paved the way to help these dogs. Absolutely. In our first clinical trial, we had median survival time in bone cancer dogs at 415 days, which is definitely longer than a year, compared to traditional chemotherapy, which comes in at about 270 days. Mm. Importantly, 50% of the dogs in our study were alive at the end of one year. Wow and 36% were still alive at the end of two years. And if some of those dogs went on to live full lives and did not die of cancer. Doctor, this is great. So great. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what it's like to be in that trial, what this procedure is like. So essentially what happens is patients go in, we take their tumors off, relieve pain, Part of that goes to get the diagnosis, part of that goes to Elias, where they then will take this tumor and create vaccines. Again, no different than the COVID vaccine or a flu vaccine to stimulate the immune system. They send those vaccines back, we give them to the patients, ramp up that immune system. They then undergo a procedure called apheresis, where we then harvest all those immune cells ship them back to these guys. They do their magic, expand those cells, kind of make that immune system angry, want to go back in the dog and fight. Send it back to us. We put it in the patient. Then those immune cells t keep being stimulated with some of the things that we're giving and, and they do their work. No chemotherapy, no poisons. It's just the good old immune system fighting the cancer. It's fantastic. It is so great that Elias is so pet-centric and passionate about pets' health. You, you make sure you guarantee data-driven, you know, scientific-based results. Uh, any final thoughts? Absolutely. Everyone you meet has a cancer story, whether it's a personal diagnosis, a family member, parent, sibling, child, and also your best friend, your dog. Which can also be your child. Yeah. yeah. So we're very excited about the work that we're doing and the ability to bring a new technology to the veterinary marketplace, while at the same time developing clinical data that will also be translatable to improve human medicine as well. That's fantastic. Mm. Doctor, final thoughts with you? I'm just very honored to have been able to participate in this. It's something that I truly believe has a, a very important future in medicine. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you both so much for being here. Today. And for our viewers who'd like more information, where can they go? So they should visit our website, EliasAnimalHealth.com. If you're looking for a place that uh, you can visit an oncologist with the opportunity to get the treatment, uh, that information will be listed there. Fantastic. Again, thank you for both for being here, thank okay? You. For thank sure. You. Look, and of course, if you want more information, you can always go to our website, TheBouncingAct.com. And we'll be right back. Absolutely.